beautiful people welcome back I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today and I am so excited you guys I love drugstore videos and for today that's exactly what we're doing honey we are doing a full-on drugstore first impression try on video and for today we actually have a little bit of everything we have L'Oreal elf LA girl makeup revolution Milani um, and just you know just kind of like this nice little mashup amalgamation if and you will of new products stuff that has launched that I thought was super beautiful and just you know that I really felt like I needed to just you know have my little hands on now of course really quick just before we get into the video I like to pause I like to introduce myself just say hey what's going on um, you know just in case you're new here maybe you don't know me hello my name is Paige um, welcome to the channel this is obviously Seeking Alexandria and I do put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday they usually go up right around 7 7 30 ish ish a.m. Um, my time here in good old northern Michigan so if you you know like early morning uploads you want someone to hang out with while you're getting up getting dressed waking up getting ready for work doing your thing girl um, this is the place to be again Monday Wednesday Friday bright and early and maybe if you haven't heard just like you know just maybe a little bit um, I am still trying to hit 10,000 followers over on Instagram so if you haven't done so yet I would greatly greatly appreciate it if you would take a second and click the link in the bio and go follow me um, because over there you guys that is my day-to-day -day life that's where I live um, really with you guys and I go through everything from like unboxings whether it's PR random stuff that I buy clothing hauls um, just everything in my insta stories that's where we go for walks hang out I tell you guys kind of how my day is going and even for the feed of Instagram like I'm not, I'm not trying to toot my own horn okay but like toot toot I have been trying so hard <laughs> I hate that I just did that. Um, but I have been trying so hard to really up my content over there and just give you guys something new constantly. Um, whether it is makeup, like IGTVs, application, reviews, makeup reels, like, you know, funny little things. Um, or makeup, just like makeup photos, makeup inspo, plus size fashion, random photography stuff. Um, you know, just like overall. Hell, the other day I actually just posted, um, if you missed it, I posted a um, an unboxing from my Bath and Body Works haul where it was just like 12 minutes of me going through talking about candles. And I was hanging out with my parents, which is always a great commentary. Overall, like I said, it's where I quite, quite literally live my life and I uh, hang out with you, a lot of skincare, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that or, or maybe if you just want to help me, help me get to that 10,000, again, I would greatly appreciate it. Everything will be linked down below. With that, I'm thinking we go ahead here. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Ah, it's so hot. Um, it, it's actually not hot. I'm just having hot flashes. And also I'm wearing this mock turtleneck, which by the way, I will link this down below. I just got it from American Eagle and I think it is, dare I say, so adorable. It's just, it gives me like all of my Libra librarian vibes and I'm living Living my best life. Ugh. But anyway, so let's go ahead, uh, slightly zoom the camera in, and let's get started. By zoom the camera in, I, I of course just mean I'm gonna I'm gonna scooch my ass closer to it, in, in the hopes that that that'll you know solve the problem. Because I really don't want to get up and like unrearrange my foot. So ho hopefully this helps. Hello, hi. We're a little closer. How's it going? Let's get these glasses up here. We're gonna use them as a little little headband so we don't mess up my fluffy hair. We love fluffy hair. Oh, hello, fluffy. Hello. All right, now getting started with foundation. I did pick this up. This is the ordinary full coverage foundation and I grabbed this in the shade 2.0 N which says it is light medium with neutral undertone and I picked this up actually because a couple of people asked me if I would pick this up and review it because it's super affordable I think it's like $12 and uh, just a lot of people want to know if it's good or not and I actually did try this one for myself a long time ago I want god it's been at least two years by now and uh, I, I couldn't remember what I thought of it so I figured what the hell we'll pick it up try it out and on the side of the box here it says that this is a high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable heat and uh, I think that's that's pretty much all the information yeah blend it onto your face okay you're good to go all right and then also to apply this I picked up this new sponge from LA girl I've never tested this before and I, it is wet by the way that it actually grew I would say it increased by about 40% in size but this sponge just in wetting it it actually has a really beautiful like thick density let's go ahead here I'm gonna get this open it does come with a twist lock cap on it so you just twist it and then obviously dispense I'm just gonna go ahead here oh wow that, that that's gonna be a little bit a little bit not my shade but we're gonna make it work it's fine um oh, wow wow that that's a lot darker than I thought okay it doesn't matter let's go ahead and just get it applied by the way I did go in and prime my face today with just my my normal Tatcha liquid silk canvas and I did that because obviously this is a foundation I'm not super familiar with so I figured we would go in with something that like I already know I know how it works on my skin um you know just so we could keep some variables the same all right so here is one side on and applied which <laughs> what, what a face um but uh, I'll fix that with concealer by the way I have to do this all the time with my foundations but in terms of the actual way that it's looking I actually quite enjoy the texture it's very very smooth like pressing into the skin smooth and I really like that um, in terms of the coverage I do think it has a nice amount of coverage I would say that this is more um, like like a strong medium I'm not gonna say that it's super full because right through here I still can see some of my cheek redness coming through and then right along here a little bit of my acne is coming through as well so you know I, again I think it's a decent medium but it's not like a super super full
full, full coverage. And I actually think, you know, just comparing this side, which has one coat, to this side, which obviously has two coats, um, you actually can see a difference when you build up the coverage. I look, <laughs> I look like an Oompa Loompa, um, which is totally fine. Like I said, we're gonna fix it. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think you actually can see a difference when you build up the coverage. All right, so at this point, um, I think it's safe to say we need to move on to concealer. And for that, I actually picked up this newer one. This is from L'Oreal, and this is their True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. And it says that this is, where is it at here? It's a lightweight, blendable formula, fragrance-free, doesn't clog your pores, and it's actually gonna give you 24-hour hydration. It's meant for all skin types and suitable for sensitive skin, and it is paraben-free. So I just, I don't know. It's, it says it was gonna instantly cover my dark circles, and I thought, what the hell, can't go wrong. Oh my God, the garbage is right there, Paige. Oh, and people are trying to call me like, can I just help you? <clears throat> Everybody leave me alone. I don't like this. I do not appreciate you when you're calling me while I'm trying to film. Do you see, do you see? I, I think I have enough of a situation I need to handle, okay? Pfft, go away. All right, so with this concealer, it looks like it comes in a squeezy tube, and it, it says it has 0.5% pure hyaluronic acid, which is definitely gonna help with that hydration. And I picked this up in, I think, the lightest shade, which is C1-2 Fair. And I will say that the, the shade itself, it might look a little fair, like, in comparison to this foundation, but for my actual, like, normal shade of concealer, um, this is actually a little darker than I would normally go with, but that's okay. We're gonna use it and, uh, Oh, actually, that's a really light, almost like a souffle, like <laughs> a souffle. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I was going for like like a puffy whipped texture and I landed on souffle. It feels like I'm putting a souffle under my eyes. But it really does have like this <laughs> soft, like, like bouncy kind of texture to it. Very nice. I can definitely feel the hydration. Um, oh, wow. In terms of coverage, it's definitely, mm, it's definitely on the lighter side. Um, I'm gonna see actually if I can build it up a little bit here. Just take some more on my little finger. Also, I can definitely feel with this in terms of the consistency, <laughs> more so than just a souffle. I can see where they were going um, with the, the skincare part of it because it definitely feels very, very lightweight. It presses into the skin beautifully. And it actually, it kind of feels like as I'm blending it, even just with my finger, it feels like there's nothing there. Like it's, it's a very lightweight formula. All right, now really quickly, I wanna test this out before I go in with powder and set everything down, but this is newer from e.l.f. This is their monochromatic multi-stick in the shade Dazzling Peony, and I thought the shade of it was super beautiful. My god, there's a lot of cars out today. Right, so here is the shade swatched. It's really beautiful, but I'm just gonna go in here with my sponge. Obviously, I like to apply my cream stuff like this just so it doesn't um, streak onto my foundation itself. Okay, so with this product, I'm not sure that I'm obsessed because I feel like I've went in and I've, I've dipped back in a ton, really tried to build it up, and the payoff for this isn't um, it's not really proving to be um, there for me. All right, so I had to do a little investigation, get my little go-go gadget fingers out. You, you guys know how I am. And I pulled this up on the Ulta website, which is where I bought it from. And a lot of people are saying the same thing. It has, I think, what did it say? Two out of, I think it was two or three out of five stars. And a lot of people are saying the same thing I am, which is that, you know, you get this, this sheen. It's more so like a kind of a, a shimmery topper, but there's not a lot of payoff. It's very slippery, which I agree. The texture of this is very slippery. At the same time, just as a side note, um, even though people are saying they don't like it, they still did find a use for it using it either on the lips or on like a no makeup day just as a light little sheen. Um, so, you know, just something to, to mention. Uh, for, for me, this isn't something I would recommend. I wouldn't purchase it again. I just, it's not, it's not for me. I don't, I don't, I don't like the pigmentation. I don't like the fact that it's just coming off so shimmery. Also really quick, I'm just going to go in and uh, smooth out my under eyes, add a little more concealer. And I, you know what? I might, maybe I should add like a brightening concealer because I feel like that's part of what I'm missing here. Um, but anyways, with Elf, just, you know, we can just chat for a little second. Um, I noticed on their website, they just launched this new, I think it's called like their putty blush. <gasps> it looks so beautiful. I had to stop myself from purchasing every single one. I want to test them so bad. So maybe I should hop on there and do that. Who knows? And I'll make sure I link them down below for you guys too, if you want to check them out, but they looked so beautiful. And I just think for e.l.f., like they have so many good products and I, this is not one of them. P.S. Where did it go? <laughs> like I'm sitting here and I'm literally like, I'm, I'm up close with this mirror going like this. I literally can't even see the pink sheen anymore. It is completely gone. Like, hello, um, it, 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 it like evaporated, excuse me, no thank you. Um, so th that's a little bit unfortunate, uh, but, but let's go ahead here, let's change the subject, try to move on to something else. And for that, I'm actually gonna grab this concealer, which ironically enough is from e.l.f. This is their Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I grabbed this in the shade Fair Warm. But for those of you that have been here a while, you know that I actually have tried this concealer before. I really, really like it. I think it's super beautiful on the under eye. Um, I've used it several times, but I lost my tube, so, so I had to repurchase it, but I really like it. It sets beautifully. 
and it just looks great. Okay, my face is finally starting to like shape into a normal hue, I think. I, I tried to like blend everything. Okay, I think, I think I'm liking where we're going, guys. I think, I think we can move on. Um, and for that, let's go ahead, actually, I'm just gonna set the face really quickly. First of all, using a little of my Maybelline Fit Me. Love this powder, it will always be a ride or die for me. So I'm just gonna take, this is in the, the loose one, by the way, in shade uh, 05 Fair. I'm just gonna take, really press out my under eyes, and then I always do them first. And then also, per usual with this powder, I just took it under the eyes and through the T-zone just to lock that whole area in. And then I think from there, to, to lightly set the rest of the face, because I don't have any other cream products, I do wanna take and just throw on um, like, a, like a press powder that I would normally use. I think for today I'll use this one. This is from IT Cosmetics. It's the IT Celebration Foundation Illumination Pressed Powder in the shade Light. And yeah, this is just one that I use all the time, so I know how it works and how it performs. All right, now really quick, just for bronzer and for blush. I'm gonna go in with my usual ones. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade Medium. And I'm going in with these because I thought that I had <laughs> ones from the drugstore sitting in front of me and evidently I don't. Like I just looked all over my little station here and I don't know where they went. I'm wondering if like some, for some reason I put things away, which I mean, it doesn't sound like me. Truthfully, I haven't put anything away lately. Again, cause of foot. Um, well, I guess more so ankle, but still I haven't been putting anything away. And so I don't know where they would have disappeared appeared to, but uh, you know, nonetheless, they're not here. So we're just going to go ahead, use what we have and move on. And then really quickly, just for blush, I'm going to use this one from Patrick Todd. This is the monochromatic moment blush in the shade. She's passionate just for a nice little Ooh, pinky moment. Oh my God, so pretty. I love this blush so much. It's so nice, it's so nice. So you know what, just as a, a side note, I could at least mention, even though I don't have them in front of me, there are some really beautiful uh, bronzers and blushes at the drugstore, especially blushes. If you are looking for blush, oh my word, so many great shades um, and great options. You have the blush from Essence. It's like $2.99, so good. Um, I think there's like a couple of the lighter shades, Becoming or Be Beloved, Beloved, that's what it is. Um, that's one of my favorite, favorite shade. So I would recommend that, which by the way, all of it will be linked down below, of course, but I love that. I love the, um, What's the other one? For, oh, from Milani. Oh, such a great one. They have amazing blushes. In terms of bronzer, you could also check out, I, I think the, the most widely known one is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I really personally love that formula. Super beautiful. And the way that it settles into the skin, it has more of like a, a very skin-like kind of appeal. I would say skin-like verging on satin, depending on how much you build it up. But super beautiful, comes in multiple shades, and the formula is, it's truly a very, very buttery formula, as the name would suggest. So highly recommend any of those if you're wanting to go drugstore. Really quickly, before I get going into um, the, the eye makeup, I do want to do the highlight first because I picked up this new one from Lottie London, and this is actually a collab that they did with Layla Loves, and this freaking highlight, I actually swatched it over on Instagram, and it is so beautiful. It has, you know, these four different quadrants on it, and I'm just gonna, I'll just show you because, oh, oh my god, it's so so good. And uh, I just, I feel like I can't really like properly go into the eyes without first applying these highlights. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm definitely gonna focus more so over here because this gold one, it, it is just a freckle too deep for me. So I'll probably stick on this side. And uh, before I go in and do that, I'm actually gonna take really quickly and I'm gonna grab my setting spray, which I just had. Where did it go? All right, I found it. And this is one of my absolute all-time favorite setting sprays. I have a ton of them. Um, like on backup, I go through multiples every year. And this is the Catrice Dewy Glow Fixing Setting Spray. It is amazing, amazing. Settles into the skin, presses everything together and gives you a beautiful like dewy kind of kind of glowy look to the skin but it's not like too much to where your makeup slips around it's just it, it's absolute perfection so I'm gonna take a little bit of this here let's go ahead and let's grab a little brush here. I think I, I want something a little bit more precise. You know what, actually, I think this will be perfect. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is their number 18, and it's just, you know, kind of a, a larger tapered highlight brush. And I'm gonna go in here with, I'm thinking, I'm probably gonna sit like right over into this camp because it's the, the lighter side of the palette. I'm just gonna cake up some. Oh wow, that is that is very. Can you? I don't know if you guys can see. That is. Oh wow, that's a very very fallouty. Um, so definitely be mindful. It seems to have more of um, kind of like a, a glitter texture to it. That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Let's go ahead here. Get a little bit. Oh my god, that that's like instant. Okay, super bright. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, that's really pretty. Okay, I definitely want to be a little bit more targeted with this because it's so reflective. Oh. Ooh, hello, highlight honey. You are so, so beautiful. Highlight honey. Ooh, that should be my, my stage name. My stage name? Where? 
What stage, Paige? What are you doing? Uh, I just feel like that that should be like my name. Like, hello, welcome to the stage, my my little highlight honey. Ooh, honey child. You know what? I gotta be honest. I'm actually impressed. I just got done <laughs> telling you guys only moments ago that um I was uh, apprehensive about the um. Oh God, that's pretty. About the the kick of the the glittery part of this, like it's just a really soft formula. And I gotta be honest, y'all, that is like actually melting into my skin. It's not glittery at all. I'm not having any issues with like kick up, fallout, nothing like that. So I, I would say just go in when you, if you you know tap into it, just tap off your brush. Make sure that there's not a bunch of extra on here. But uh, in terms of application, like oh my God, it's it's so beautiful. So we're gonna have a nice greasy ass chalupa honey chin. Ooh, girl, mm -hmm, look at her. She got grease just dripping and down hashtag chalupa chin okay chalupa chin loving it for days got it almost forgot my upper lip y'all i mean how can we have grease on the chin and not on this cupid's bow <laughs> we like a greasy cupid we like a greasy cupid <laughs> Oh, should I say. All right, so next up we have two items. I'm actually gonna do an overlay here, but uh, we have the iHeart Revolution Tasty Avocado Brow Gel in the shade Medium Brown, and I'm actually gonna go in and use this first to individualize the lashes. I like to do that um, anytime I'm working with something like this, which this is new from Milani, and it is their Weekend Brow Eyebrow Tint in the shade 130 Medium Brown, and this is comparable to what I have been using. I've talked about it a bunch on here. This is the ABH Brow Pen, and like I said, I've used this a ton on here. You guys have seen me talk about it over on Instagram, here, wherever. And the thing that I like about that, and ultimately what I like about the Milani one, is that they're just more of like an individual kind of eyebrow flick. And it just lets you get that that separated hair look versus more of a, a block effect on your brows. And so it's just a look I've been really enjoying. And now I've only used the Milani one once, so I don't have any like definitive thoughts, but so far, so good. Like it, it does last really nicely in the brows. All right, now for eyeshadow, you guys, I am so excited. Like this is one of the things in this video I could not wait for and I picked up two of the new eyeshadows from LA girl just look at those oh my god the colors the textures like everything about these just just screams page in today's video obviously I, I can really only you know use so many shades of my eyeballs but uh, I wanted to take a minute just really appreciate them because I think like the packaging and the look of them is super beautiful and the, the color story is amazing the textures look great and I just I haven't even so much to swatch them and I'm, I'm already in love so let's go ahead here and I'm, I'm gonna start off with this palette and just you know go through some swatches oh they feel nice oh my gosh you guys <laughs> look at this shade I just went through and uh, I decided to swatch the entire palette and I am actually blown away like I, I know obviously they're not the, the most amazing swatches but look at this color story like it's so warm and just oh like all of those orangey fall vibes oh my god that is absolutely stunning um so so this one right here this is the which palette is this the keep it playful eyeshadow palette Oh, 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 okay, I'm ready to play, honey. I am ready to play. All right, now I don't want to, you know, sit here and gawk for too long because, I mean, truthfully, I just, me and eyeshadows, I could, I could do it all day long. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, wipe all of those off, and I also wanna swatch the other one. This is the Keep It Playful, oh shit, <laughs> they both have the same name. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. This one is the Keep It Playful Foreplay Palette, and this one is the Keep It Playful Downplay Palette. Sorry, this is my bad. I just got, I just got so excited. Okay, you guys, I am like blown away. Do you? You see this silver shit? Like, look at, look at both of those. And this is just like a rich black. Look at these freaking colors. I'm sorry, but who is this? Like, look, look at the Tin Man here sitting on the edge of my hand. Oh, and it's not that I was expecting these to be bad, but I just, I don't know, man, for the, for the price and, you know, cause they're, they're affordable. I just didn't expect like that is so, so next level creamy. So is this one right here. It's more of like a light pewter shade. So beautiful. And then these two shades right here, you have like a shimmery kind of granite black and then a matte black right Right next to it. All right, so just so you guys know, I just, I pulled these up on the Alta website because I'm, I'm actually, like, I can't get over how gorgeous. Um, so I pulled them up and they are normally $9.99. So this is a $10 palette and it's currently on sale for $6.99. Now, I'm not sure if it'll be on sale when this goes up, but $6.99, $9.99, $10, okay? $10 for this. That is a, just like a hair over a dollar a shade. And these are so so beautiful. Like I'm, I am unbelievably impressed right now with these. Oh my God. I haven't even applied them and I'm impressed. And this palette is gorgeous. And there's one palette I don't have. Um, it's the Playmate and this is more of like pinky hues. Oh, I might, I might just have to get that, add to cart just so it's there for later because these are uh, gorgeous. Okay. Gorgeous. Now let's go ahead. I'm actually going to wipe off my hands. We're going to get into an eye look. Dear, dear God, hurry up. Um, cause I feel like I've been talking for an hour, but I just can't. Oh my God. Ah, so good. Right. Also while we're here and we're wiping stuff, stuff up. <laughs> How about we 
wipe off these crusty, busty little lips. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, so I went ahead off of camera and I primed my lids with just a little bit of my Benefit Boeing Cakeless Concealer. And while I was doing that, I was kind of going back and forth between the two palettes, you know, just because I, I feel like for me, um, the obvious option is to go with the four play one, you know, the, the lighter, more coppery colors. But I thought for today, seeing Tommy, I'm trying to just like, you know, reach outside of that comfort zone, just a, just a freckle. Um, I am going to go with, with the other neutral palette. I know so, so far outside of my comfort zone. And uh, we're going to start off, uh, like I said, in here. And I think we're going to lead in with this middle shade right here at the top. It's just, um, it, it's a nice light colored shade. It'll be a good one to work through the crease. And so I'm going to take that on my Sigma. This is their tapered blending E40. And I'm going to take and just start that lighter at the outer V and then lightly kind of pull it in just to get a feel for, you know, the, the pigmentation, blendability, all the good things. Also, side note, if you're ever shopping Sigma, I do have a discount code with them. It's code SEEKING for 10% off, um, which is kind of crazy because for me, Sigma is like one of those brands. I have loved them for so long. Um, their brushes, like the quality on them is just insane. They come with a two-year warranty and they're just, they're so good. If you're looking for brushes, brush soap, anything like that, Oh, I love Sigma so, so much. From there, I'm just gonna go in and deepen that up a little more. Same brush with the shade right next to it. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I just wanna really, you know, lightly build that outer V color and just kinda see, you know, what depth we're getting. I'm not, I'm not usually a big fan of like going in with like super dark colors and blending those out. I feel like it, it I, I work better when I can build the color like this. Um, but if you are someone that prefers to go in, you know, with a darker color and blend it out from there, that's totally fine. It's just, I feel like for me, I get a smoother blend when I do it like this. Also, just as a side note with these shades, I am getting a little bit of kick in pan, um, but to the to the plus of that, they are blending really nicely, so I'm not mad at it. I'm not having any like actual fallout on my face, but just, you know, kick in pan, just be a little bit mindful, make sure you tap it off. But uh, so far, they're, they're very nice, super blendable. I'm not having any issues. If anything, I would say these are like kind of stunning. I really like these shades together too. Oh, so pretty. All right, now from here, we're gonna go in, just keep deepening up. We're grabbing the next darkest shade here in the matte realm, which is this very dark matte brown. And uh, with this one, I'm gonna be doing it again, same pattern. Obviously, this is like my preferred kind of eye look. I know a lot of people, you know, you lo they love to put lines and all the graphic stuff all over. But for me, I'm just like such a classy eye look kind of person. Like I, I want it to be beautiful and put together and sculpted. I just, I've been into the more like classy looks lately where it's just a nice, lifted you know dark smoky eye or something with like the shine to it but it's just either way like an eye look that really works to lift my eye give it some dimension just kind of pull it up a little bit you can definitely see there's a lot more light coming from this side <laughs> than there is over here um, which is why obviously it looks darker but I just feel like a look like this it's so classy and it's so um, just day to day this is oh this is my jam right here honey I am loving it. All right, now I am gonna go in with my Scott Barnes. This is the Scott Barnes 63, and I'm gonna take some of this lighter bone colored shade right here, and I'm gonna throw that up by the brow bone. Wow, that is a freaking concentrated color. Can you see, can you see how freaking bright that is? Holy crap. Um, and I'm gonna take that up here just so I can kind of blend into all of these other browns. I wanna make sure that it is lightly lifted up by my brow bone, that it's not getting lost in the um, in the darkness of those shades. So I'm just gonna take this, blend it up there, just a little bit, it doesn't need to be a lot, and this shade is very rich, so you're definitely getting a great payoff. Ooh, I like that, that is a freaking great shade. All right, now if you are someone like me, you have inhospitable eyelids, they are oily, they just, things tend to repel away from them, but you still love to use glitters and shimmers and all the good things, definitely, definitely invest in a tube of this stuff. This is the NYX Glitter Glue, and I think it's like six, seven-ish dollars, something like that, and it's a really, really awesome glitter primer. I use it quite literally every day when I do my makeup. Um, anytime I'm going in with like a shimmer, or glitter, like I said, anything to that effect, I just go in with a little bit of this. I like to throw it all over the lid just for that nice sticky base it really helps you know keep the stuff on all day even though my oily eyelids tend to try to you know ruin that but this helps a lot and then with that on I like to go in while it's nice and tacky and go in with a shimmer now for today I'm kind of at a place I want to use both of these shades because uh, I think they're both beautiful this is that pewter shade and then this is that silver and I think what I'm gonna do Hmm, I think I'm actually gonna use both. I'm gonna take the silver a little bit closer to the inner portion of the eye and then blend it into the pewter. Oh my God, that is, oh, that's just the pewter shade. All right, now let's add that silver. Oh, 
I am sorry. The Tin Man called and he wants his heart back. Oh, because it is broken. Oh, my eye. Oh, that made no sense and I don't even care. Oh, that is so beautiful. I am getting just a little bit of fallout with the um, the silver shade, but it's definitely a chunkier, like a, a very loose shimmer. So be mindful of that. Um, but it's super nice. I'm going to take a little bit of both of those and throw them on the lower lash line as well. Just like right in here. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. You know what, maybe, maybe just for like a little extra fun, I think I wanna grab this darker brown shimmer right here. Oh, so good. And I wanna take a little bit of that and just pop it on the outer corner of the eye just to like even blend in a little bit more because I mean, honestly, why not? Like it's just beautiful, it's here. And uh, like it's so, oh my God, the payoff on these is incredible. But now I do wanna take, I think just a little bit of the matte brown in here and smudge it along my upper waterline just for like a little, a little faux liner. And to do that, what do I wanna use here? I think I'm gonna use this, uh, this is the Sigma F15. It's just a, a flat little liner brush. I'm gonna just run it into the palette and then keeping it nice and close up against my lashes, just kind of wiggle it back and forth in there. Um, that way we can get the definition of a line without having a, like the, the harshness of it. And that looks so good too. It just adds that little bit of definition. And then I'm also just gonna do the same thing here on the lower lash line. I'm just wiggling that, uh, that shadow in between the lashes. And then that way when I go in with some eyeliner, cause I'll use like a, like a water liner for the upper and lower. And then it'll just all look really beautiful and like sultry together. Ooh. God, that is, that is beautiful. Yep, 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 that is, that is gorgeous. Okay, um, let's go ahead and really quickly, I'm gonna finish up this eye off of camera. Um, it won't take me more than a couple of minutes, but that, you know, that's a couple minutes that we're not gonna spend sitting here with Paige going, ooh, ah, every 13 seconds. So let me, I just tried to look at myself in this mirror. What, what, what's not here? A mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead off of camera, I'm gonna regroup, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so while I was off of camera, I did go ahead, of course, and finish up the eyes. I figured it would be easier than just going, you know, back and forth constantly. Constantly. So I finished up the eyeshadow, which we've talked about it. I think the palette performs performed really, really, really nicely. I like it a lot. Um, and I, I really like the way that the eye look turned out. And after I was done with that, I did go in with a little bit of this. This is a new liner I picked up from Lottie London. And this is their AM to PM retractable eyeliner in the shade, I think it's dark, oh, espresso. I was gonna say dark brown, but it's in the shade espresso. And I actually swatched it right there. It's just a nice deep tone brown. And I used this on the lower lash line. And then on the upper lash line, I did use a black black one. This is the Makeup by Mario black one that I just, I had sitting in front of me. And I did that because I wanted to have a nice amount of depth, but I really liked the tone of this brown. Like it matched really nicely with the rest of the look. So I wanted to use that. It is very, very creamy, like in terms of the, uh, the actual, um, application of it. It's nice and glidey, but at the same time, uh, you can go back and forth over top of it. You can build the pigment if you want to. So I did like that. Obviously I'll keep testing it and let you know, but so far so good on that. All right. Now, next up I have a mascara. And this one I did use a couple of times prior to this video because I couldn't wait and I just I love testing new mascaras And this is the L'Oreal air volume mega mascara And I think the thing with this mascara like I was going into it I was really excited because the wand on it if you look it is a beautiful thick robust kind of wand and that is 100% my favorite type. I love it I feel like it really grabs the lashes pulls the product through and it just looks beautiful um, But with this mascara I am because I've used it now I think probably four times total and and with this mascara, I am a little bit underwhelmed because I feel like it is a little bit more clumpy than I would like, like just in terms of how when I drag it through my lashes, it does get those little bally kind of clumpy things all over it. And I don't have a problem with like building volume and having, you know, thicker lashes, but th th that's the kind where I'm not getting a lot of volume on my actual lash, but I'm getting more of just those little clumps all over and that's not my favorite. And the second thing with this that I think is weird, and I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like it's a little bit um, flaky slash smudgy because it doesn't really like dry down like just you know really adhere to my lashes it seems to stick uh, or stay a little bit sticky or a little bit transfery which then of course makes it flake off makes it smudgy so just I guess for me it hasn't been like my favorite mascara I do really like the wand and I wish um, I just wish the formula was a little bit better so I I'm gonna use it obviously I'll find other ways to mix it in with other mascaras but uh, this one has not been my favorite and I was super disappointed because this was like I, I mean other than those eyeshadow palettes this was one of the things like I, I couldn't even 
even wait to use it, okay? I used it like four days ago. That's the level of excitement. And I was just, I don't know, I was kind of bummed that it wasn't better, but you know, just those are my thoughts. I, I don't know if, you know, if you guys have tried it, leave yours down below, but th that's just my experience. Really, as I sit here talking, I just had a giant smudge of that mascara on my inner eye that was not there 10 seconds ago. So that, that, that kind of makes my point even a little bit more concrete now, doesn't it? doesn't it? Right now moving into lips, I do have several different options and I was, I grabbed a lot because I wasn't really sure um, which like shades I wanted, but I feel like, oh, this is really pretty. Okay. This is one of the glosses I picked up or <laughs> glosses, a lipstick I picked up from Milani. This is their color statement lipstick in the shade 29 Teddy Bear. And I thought this looked really beautiful. They have, oh God. And that color is like perfect for today. It's just a nice medium tone brown. Ooh, that's super pretty. Actually, to go along with that, I'm going to use this Essence liner. I actually repurchased this because I love this liner so much. Um, this is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Tea Time, and it is so beautiful. It stays put. It's a great, great liner. How about, Paige, how about we put down all of these other ones? We don't, we don't need to hold on to them. Okay, they're not going to go anywhere. Let's just set them over there and, like, you know, line our lips like a normal person. All right, and then over top of that, we're taking that Milani lipstick. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, their stuff always smells like cucumber. Am I the only one? It smells exactly like cucumber water. And all right, you guys, with that, the full face is done and complete. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up an up close. That way you guys can see how everything is looking. And I think I will go ahead and start up my wrap-up here by saying that um, in terms of complexion, the foundation and the concealer both, I'm not really a fan. Um, I know for sure, like, the, the foundation, I don't like the way that it's set down, especially through my T-zone. I think it looks okay, like it looks smooth over my cheeks, but definitely through the T-zone, it's not looking good and the concealer I do really like the texture of it but there's definitely something there that I'm gonna have to play around with more because up under my eyes it's already starting to um, like crease and break apart and it's just it, it doesn't seem to be really wearing or setting very well so I'll have to play around with that it might be a texture issue I'm not really sure but just right now it's 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 not looking so hot and then you know what continuing on the theme of things that I didn't really care, care for in today's video um, I'm gonna add in this elf monochromatic stick we talked about it I'm not a big fan um, the e.l.f. or the, I'm sorry, the L'Oreal Air Mega Volume Mascara. This I'm not really digging either. I just, again, I told you guys why I don't like both of these, but I just, you know, just, just to reiterate in terms of the video, these are not my favorite. Now from there, I liked pretty much everything else. The only thing I'm on the fence about is the I Heart Revolution Brow Gel. And that's just because it seemed to be a little bit too watery. So when I was trying to run it through my brows, it tended to, you know, want to like flick up and, and go all over the place. And I'm, I'm not really a fan of that consistency. I like it to be just a little bit stiffer. Um, but but, you know, that being said, it did perform. It has really nice pigmentation and, uh, and you know, it, it worked well. It just, I will have to work around with that fact. Even with that out of the way, you know, I really did enjoy like the, the Milani brow flick thing. That was really pretty. The Lottie London stuff that I tried was super nice. And of course, from there, obviously I had a great time with uh, the LA Girl palette I used, watching both of them. They feel amazing. And I cannot freaking wait <laughs> to use this one right here. I'll be using it very soon. So stay tuned over on Instagram. Maybe I'll do like an IGTV or something. Uh, you know, just use a little something, maybe give us a little fall vibes, but overall these performed very nicely. And even the lip product, you know, I, I have used obviously Milani lipsticks and Essence lip liners before, but I just feel like overall, like as a, as a cohesive moment, everything came together beautifully. And oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> Pause that. I did pick up one of these as well. And this is from Makeup Revolution. This is one of their glosses. It's their Shimmer Bomb Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. And I was going to throw this on earlier and I, I totally forgot until I just looked down and saw it. But I thought that that these looked so beautiful. This one is in the shade Starlight. And just overall, like the packaging, it looks so juicy and it has this amazing gigantic doe foot. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just look, put a little bit of this on. See what we think here, just a little bit in the center. Oh, wow. That actually smells really pleasant. Tap it out a little. I don't want it to be too shiny. I just want it to add, ooh, ooh, like a little bit, ooh. Yeah, I quite like that. That actually looks really beautiful. But anyways, you guys, that is it. Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Do you love drugstore? Were there any of these you were curious about? Have you tested them? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Um, or or is maybe there's something I need to have my eye on. Do I need to get boop, 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 like get my little fingers on something? Be sure to let me know everything down in the comments. And as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. But with that beautiful, fantastic, wonderful people of the internet, I thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh, look at that. Look at that cheekbone. We're cutting cheekbones and bitches. Oh yeah. Cheekbones and bitches.
Okay, that's different. All right, now it's time for brows. Now it's time for brows. Now, 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 now it's time for brows. Know that it's like right here. Like I, j I just had it, didn't I? Like not very long ago. Um, you know, it's 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 brown and it says brow and it's from Milani. Got it. Wait, is this it? Liquid eyeliner. Fuck, that's not it. Damn. <laughs> oh, I got so excited.